I'm Elizabeth McDonald, web reporter for GC42. Look around this general council and you will see the evidence. Evidence everywhere. There is a crafty bunch of commissioners at work. Some are hookers, including Kathy Brown, co-chair of local arrangements for this general council. Kathy, weeks before general council began, you put the call out to knitters and crocheters. What was your plan? What was your hope? Our hope is to uh, is to create uh, blankets that will be um, be made be knit here at council. They will be sewn together uh, by squares from a local UCW unit in Mount Pearl on the east coast. And these blankets would be distributed to the Stella Circle or Stella Burry Community Services uh, to help with their support of um, housing and, and projects that they have with the homeless and with those who uh, just seek a little warmth and comfort. So you were looking yeah. for knitters, you were looking for crocheters, you've provided all kinds of wool and knitting needles. Where did all this come from? The, uh, this wool came mostly from uh, congregations throughout uh, our conference. Uh, at our conference meetings in May, people uh, kept bringing me wool and needles. I had almost a hundred pairs of knitting needles when I began, and I'm down to uh, a lot less than that. And uh, we, ha I have at least twice this wool again. People actually from, uh, some of our commissioners came with backpacks full of wool and contributed as well. Now there's a lot of talk of change, there's a lot of talk of transformation at this general council, and there's a very special kind of transformation happening here. Very beautiful work, lovely work, as people take those, those balls of wool and turn it into something that will be not only warm, not only practical, but something very beautiful for the people who will receive it. They're all different. Uh, we have all the different styles, different colors, and just, I think it will be like a, a, a mosaic of warmth. Now, now, when commissioners arrived, each commissioner received a gift, uh, a beautiful bag, and inside the bag, a prayer square, a dishcloth, somebody, somebody knit this, and a very special kind of cross. Can you tell us where these came from? Those, again, came from uh, various congregations. Uh, actually, the prayer, the miniature prayer shawls, or prayer squares, I think they came from, I'm not sure, I'm, I think maybe one person who knit them up, or in conjunction with her sister. The dishcloths came from everywhere, and a couple of our congregations made the uh, cross in the pockets. And the, and the bags themselves came from uh, UCW, UCW units from across our conference. Lots of hands-on activity in Newfoundland, Labrador. Course, now on Thursday night, I understand a kitchen party is being mm -hmm. planned for commissioners yes. and they will have the opportunity to experience another hands-on creativity, something very popular amongst you New Bradorians. That was a Whoa, phrase you, you taught us all, uh, yep. people from Newfoundland and Labrador. Can you tell us what's in store on Thursday night? What are, what are commissioners going to see? Com commissioners are going to see a demonstration of rug hooking. Um, through, uh, for generations, um, many of our foremothers, I will say, particularly, uh, created rugs by using um, yarn and from um, clothing that mm -hmm. was worn now mm -hmm. and and wasn't usable really for clothing anymore. They would uh, would tear it into strips, and they would be hooked hooked into rugs. Most people in those days uh, didn't have carpeting, so uh, to cover the linoleum, especially on cold winter nights, uh, they would uh, create uh, these beautiful uh, pieces of art, really, of, of rugs. And, and, and the tradition is now really resurging again in the past 10 years or so. And this is a kind of recycling, repurposing long, long before, before it became popular. You may do with whatever you had. Uh, we were 
Uh, we are people of the sea and of the land, and we live with whatever resources that were around us. Many of our communities were isolated and cut off, so you use whatever resources you had available to you. So okay. wool and material were always whatever in plenty. Whatever you had. Kathy Brett, co-chair of Local Arrangements, yep. thank you very much. You can see what commissioners are working at, some of them with knitting needles. Yep. On Instagram or Flickr, just go to gc42.ca.